All right, let's put some shaft colors on this guy. So we just have a couple little nubbies here. Make sure you hold down Alt first. Let's drag it over the top, wherever it needs to be. Let's do the same thing to the other side. So I'm going to put one kind of close to the other side first. Rotate around. Looks like I wasn't close at all. Hold down Alt. Drag it over. Oh, that wasn't right. Try again. Control Z will undo that for you, by the way. Make sure it looks right before you let go. And these are spread out just a little bit far, which is okay. It's not great, but it's okay. Um, in reality, see how this has a little bit of a give to it. The person who's putting this together will probably scoot that in closer so the axle comes all the way through. But for a virtual model, this will be fine. All right, we're going to do the same kind of thing here to the other side. We're going to take the the last shaft here, and we're going to align it with the holes here. So let's go constrain, and that one is still selected, so it's in blue over here. I'm going to hit the plus sign and the plus sign on origin, and I'm going to find the z-axis and meet that z-axis with this hole and hit apply. I'm going to use a flush constraint with the front of this and this back edge over here and hit apply. So that is about where it should be as well. Well, I thought it was. Maybe we're just too far out. Let's see this guy. This is actually... It's three inches. Okay. So... We are a little bit off. Tell you what, let's go back to that flush constraint that we have. This one down here. And see right here where it has an offset? Let's give that a, a negative 0.2. And see if that lands us on either side where we want to be. We're going to call that pretty good. Okay, let's also grab work plane 2. So if you look at shaft 3, if you hit the plus sign, work plane 2 should be right there. We're going to right click and make that visible. I'm going to grab one of these guys. This is a tank tread drive wheel. And I'm going to hit the plus sign next to him. And I'm going to right click on well first you have to expand the origin I want this uh, oh none of those is it this one it's that one okay the YZ plane let's make that visible as well so I want that to be constrained here in the middle oh it's not what I wanted alright my mistake Let's go back to this. Collapse that origin folder. That mid plane really is the thing that I wanted. I want to hit constrain. I want the mid plane to attach to this work plane here. So now that is in place. I also want uh, that flat spot there to be attached to one of these other flat spots. Say apply. And I want that flat spot. Now this has to go to that underside. So I have to rotate just a little bit. So I get a flat edge here. And snap that in place. Okay, my apologies. But now this guy should be ready to roll. Um, although he probably would do a lot better off in this middle one than he would here on this end one. If you are worried about it like I am, this is an easy fix. We have this mate back here. See how that has the weird circle in the middle? That means it's lined up with the center line. We're going to delete that. I'm just going to change the center line. So, again, that was the shaft. We want that Z axis to be mated with this one, the one there in the middle. That is much better. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. This video is going to go just a little bit over, but not too much. 
uh, we are going to constrain this as a flush constraint with this other side right here. It's an easy way to make sure they stay in the middle. We are also going to make... Where is that guy? All the way at the bottom. That mid-plane. We don't need that mid-plane to be visible because we just used that mate constraint. So then instead, all we would need is for that to be connected to one of these flat spots. Say apply. And then it's going to take a little bit of maneuvering on your part just to make sure There we go. Ha ha! That, that flat part touches this inside flat part here. Let's go back to our home view so you can see what we just did. And we'll pick up with the next video.